Welcome to Double Take with Double R. Great to be back, man. I'm telling you, man. Hopefully, everybody enjoyed the holidays. I enjoyed the holidays. Plenty of menudo, plenty of tamales, plenty of alcohol, plenty of drugs, plenty of everything. <laughs> Now, really, man, it's great to be back. It really, really is. All I'm going to say is that um, I have missed being on the air. I really, really have. And I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. I'm okay with that. That was part of the deal. Nine and a half years, man. How are, How is a person not going to miss doing what he had been doing for nine and a half years with the radio station Double R Old School Internet Radio? But it was time to move on. And move on I have with double take with double r before we get there i want to thank everybody who listened supported as the uh attended my events with double r old school internet radio nine and a half years thank y'all so very very much man closed out the show on on uh what was it a friday morning man and it was just simply awesome and i got so many and i mean so many people send me their 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 best wishes and all that other good stuff i got all sentimental and mocoso and everything during the cruising classic show but hey man a sentimental kind of a guy i am it is what it is thank y'all so very very much now people tell me robert double take with double r what's that about it's about anything and everything i want to talk about news stories kind of like i did on the morning show but now we're going to be doing it on double take with double r i'll be doing it you know on the video and uh, the, the what i'm doing right now recording but everything will be as the uh stream through youtube okay everything will be through youtube i'll be putting the links whenever i do something like this on facebook but uh this is going to be my new thing right here i really need it to vent and I miss doing that, man. And I used to use the morning show whenever I'd be pissed off or talk about this or talk about that. I had nobody to vent to, man. I went outside one morning and I was talking to the cat. That's how crazy I got. I got the chinga, man. My, I got a buddy of mine. He owes me money. He won't pay me. I can't find him. The cat would look at me. Meow. <laughs> I said, all right, you know what? I'm going to start something so I can talk to other people about what's going on. That's where I created Double Take with Double R. There we go. And uh, you're probably asking, Robert, so how many times will you be doing this? I really don't know. It's going to be spontaneous. Like, I'm doing this one today, episode one, and episode two, I don't know, in a couple of days, three days. I don't know. Whenever uh, time lets me and uh, whenever I see new stories that I definitely want to talk about, I'm going to go ahead and do something like this again. Double take with double R. Now, por favor, if you see a new story or something going on out there that uh, you find interesting, send it to me. It's simple. Double take with double R at gmail.com. Double, yeah, yeah, I got double take with double R at gmail.com. You'll see it at the bottom of my flyer. You'll see it right here. There you go. And if you got any questions, you got a story, whatever, send it to me. And if I feel it's worth my time to go live on the air and talk about it, then we're going to go ahead and do it. Am I going to pay you anything for it? Of course not. I'm broke. Well, anyways, let's kick things off, man. I got two personal stories that I never thought. I mean, it. I get blindsided by, by things that happen to me. I had no plans on talking about these first two news stories. One well, news stories, but personal stories that happened to me. And the third one, I'll finish off with a new story that happened here in San Antonio. Well, anyways, let me tell y'all, man. Um, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I go shopping or you go into a parking lot, whatever you're doing, you know what I mean? A business office, whatever. I'm a kind of person I general, generally like to park further away because I don't want nobody digging my, my car door, right? I don't want none of that. So I went to H-E-B the other day, and uh, I parked further away, went inside, did my shopping, and did my flirting with the H-E-B girls, came outside, and lo and behold, there's a car right next to me, man, on the passenger side. I mean, not even like eight inches, right there. Go, <laughs> That's where I put my groceries, so now i got to put them on the other side, right? Well, anyways, while I'm putting my stuff in there, I'm going like, man, if this guy comes out, man, the girl, I don't care who it is. I'm going to let him have it. And lo and behold, as I'm putting in my groceries, this is all true, man. I'm putting in my groceries. I'm looking up. I'm looking to see if somebody's coming my way. And here comes these two guys, one big and fat and one skinny. We'll call them the number 10. The big guy will call them zero. 
El Flaquito, we'll call them one, okay? Well, anyways, they're walking, and I said, Ale, watch, these guys own this car right next to me. And lo and behold, they were. They were the people that owned that car. And they kind of look at me, right? And I gave them my, what the look of forever look, right? Well, anyways, I told the guy, are you serious, dude? Are you serious? Look at this, man. Come on, man. There's a thing called courtesy, bro. Come on. Well, I'm parked within the line, dude. No, you're not. Now, how are you going to get inside your car when you've only got eight inches to spare and you got like about 600 pounds on you? Really, dude? You better go inside to HB and go get a WD-40 or something. You're going to need something to slide in there. I'm not going to move my car. And the guy tells me, oh, you're looking for trouble? I said, maybe trouble looking for you. At the, right? I started doing my little slang deal. But when it was all said and done, number one, the flaquito, he kind of gave me a look. He goes, I don't see no problem. <laughs> I just looked at the guys, man. I go, man, I'm too old for this. But I got to tell you, man, I was not going to let them get away with it. Right? So I'm looking at the big guy, uh, number zero, and he's really struggling trying to get in his car. I'm no lie, man. He put his leggy in there, and then he put his naga in there, or half of it. And then he's trying to get the ombligo in and all this other stuff. And I'm just looking at him. You see, dude? You did that all to yourself. And I got to tell you, man, I was in a great mood. But when I left H-E-B, I wasn't anymore. So it is what it is. But I'm sure, I'm sure you can relate to that, man, when somebody goes and parks right next to you and leaving no room to open your door. Really pissed me off. And mind you, this is something that just happened a couple of days ago. Now, speaking of that, I went to Walmart this morning to go buy myself a little kind of a little uh, uh, USB drive kind of a thingy. Well, anyways, uh, you're probably going, Robert, what are you looking at? No, I was looking to make sure everything's okay. Looking at my little flyer right there, double take with double R, and my fishies. They're my fishies right there. They're my fishies right there. They talk to me. When I get drunk and I'm by myself, I talk to the fishies. <laughs> and if I'm hungry, I'll eat a couple of them. Get to break out the tartar sauce. I'm the lick of it on. Well, anyways, I went to Walmart this morning, and I got to tell you, man, as soon as I walked in, there was this really, really bad odor. You know when, when there's a, a sewage problem, a busted pipe, toilet pipe, that's the way it smelled when I walked into Walmart and I go like, oh my God, somebody must have gone to Taco Bell this morning or something. Well, anyways, I go in there and I'm looking for this USB drive. So I go all the way to the electronics and they've only got one kind of you know USB drive but it's like 89 dollars way too much i can get a whole lot cheaper so as i'm walking out of the store getting close to the front door i see the manager now you tell me when is the last time or ever that you've ever seen a walmart manager you'll see the employees but you'll never see the manager that's true man so i go up to the manager go hey dude um you don't you have any cheaper usb drives back there I don't know. I'm just the manager. Uh, I thought, well, if you're the manager, you should know. So then I told him, well, let me ask you something else. I really like those small little pies that y'all sell for 59 cents, but you haven't put them back out in a while. When are you going to bring the pies back out? I don't know. I'm just the manager. What the hell is? And I said, well, dude, let me ask you something else, dude. Um, why does it smell so bad in here? What happened? I don't know. I'm just the manager. Ooh, that's a... <laughs> Man, if you can't get answers from the manager, who can you get answers from? And, and I got to tell you, man, you know, I don't care if it's a Walmart or anywhere else, man. You walk into a building and they have a sewage problem. I'm submit <laughs> if you have an appetite, I promise you, you're not going to have that appetite a minute later. I was starving when I walked in there, man. When I left smelling all that, you know, that stench. When I left there, I normally eat three tacos. But after smelling that, I only ate one. And that's, just, and that's all I had to do. Anyway, <laughs> all true. It really, really is. Anyways, like I said, it's great to be back. It really, really is. And even more so, double take with double R. Now, check this out. This story here, man, I've been wanting to talk about this all week. And finally, 
The Rock has done. That's another that WWE. Anyway, check this out. San Antonio, Texas. A store employee stole bundles of Texas lottery tickets, cashed them in for more than $31,000. Now, check this out. This is the kicker. This isn't somebody that broke into the convenience store, you know, and stole them and took off. This was an actual employee at the store was stealing her own lottery tickets and cashed in more than $31,000 in lottery tickets. How crazy is that? They finally caught her and... Uh, According to what her family members were saying, they said they knew something was wrong because she was always scratching. If it wasn't a lottery ticket, her naga! Scratching lottery tickets, scratching naga, scratch lottery tickets, scratch naga. Family members knew something was wrong. <laughs> right, right. They said she never scratches her naga that many times. Something is wrong here. Well, anyway, she was thrown in jail and uh, she went up for bail and uh, the, the judge actually told her $20,000 in bail or $40,000 in lottery tickets. So I, I, I'm going to keep on top of this one and keep y'all informed. Anyways, like I said, it's great to be back. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, since Double Take with Double R branched out from my radio station, I'm keeping it right here with Robert Reeves Radio. Okay, and subscribe, but if I would. And of course, if you have any kind of news story, any kind of comments, don't be shy. Be sure and put them in the comments, whatever the case, or you can email me, okay? Double take with double R at gmail.com. You'll see it right there at the bottom of the flyer and all that other good stuff. Great to be back. It really, really is. I got a whole lot of more stuff that I'll be talking about as we go on. Now, I'm going to say this one more time as well. This is not going to be a daily thing. It's going to be one day, then maybe two days later, then three. You know, whenever I see things that I'm able to talk about, whatever the case may be, then we're going to go ahead and do it, okay? Well, anyways, like I said, it's great to be back. Let me find the buttons that I got to click. And uh, all I'm going to say is double take with double R. <laughs>